that you want to know how to crochet this little baby shoe, stay tuned. This is a beginner friendly pattern because we will crochet in different stitches and styles on this shoe so you can learn to crochet in different stitches at all at one time. All we need to make this little baby shoe for babies from 3 to 6 months is of course yarn and a crochet hook in 4.5 mm. This is an absolutely beginner friendly shoe because we learn to crochet in different styles and stitches all at one time. So this will be fun to make. So let's get started. Oh, by the way, I will leave all the information you need in the info box below. So let's get started. As I said before, is my crochet hook a 4.5 millimeter hook. If you want to make a bigger shoe, so you will need a bigger hook size or a thicker yarn. But I'm good with this yarn from Schattenmeyer and we're going to start with the slip knot and 34 chains. So one and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten and thirty four stitches. In the second loop from the hook, we will start with one single crochet. Because we will start now to crochet something like a roll up cuff. We crochet in single crochets now all the way across. At the end of the row, we will turn our work and chain one in each and every row. And now we will crochet nine rows in single crochet. And we're going to see us again in the ninth row. So here we are at the ninth row, and we still have our 34 chains to crochet. So this will be our roll down cuff for the baby shoe. As you see, you can pull it over or pull it down or roll it up. And this will be a roll up cuff. If you want to make a higher roll up area, you can add a few more rows if you want to, but I don't need to do this now to have this little baby shoe to get ready with this. So we will turn our work. When we have finished the ninth row, chain one, turn your work and work 22 stitches in single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 
21 and 22 stitches. So when we have the 22 stitches all together, we will turn our work and we work 10 single crochet. We're going to work all these 10 single crochets now for the next 10 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So what we have now is we have 10 loops in single crochet and we work now only this 10 loops for the next 12 rows. We're going to work this in half double crochet and this is how we do it. We will yarn over, insert the hook, yarn over, have three loops on our hook, yarn over and pull through all the three loops on the hook. Pull through, yarn over, yarn over, into the stitch, and all the way across until we reach the end of the row. So, yarn over, insert the hook, yarn over, pull through all the three loops on the hook. Repeat this till the end of the row. Turn your work and work your way back in half double crochet. And don't forget to count your stitches while you crochet to make sure you won't lose or add any stitches because the stitches at the end of each row is going to try to hide sometimes, so you have to make sure to catch all the 10 stitches. Yarn over, pull through, insert the hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, insert the hook, yarn over, pull through. So we're going to crochet like this until we reach the 12th row. And then we'll see us, see us again. So, hands up the hook, cut your yarn, hands up the hook, into the stitch, yarn over, and pull through all the three loops on the hook. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And here is the tenth stitch. Just try to hide, but we're gonna find it every time. There it is. Here we have the stitch that wants to hide. So just yarn over, insert the hook, yarn over. Yarn over and pull through all the stitches on your hook. So all you need to do is to make sure to catch all the 10 stitches. And we're going to crochet across until we reach the 12th row.
yarn over and the third row to yarn over and pull to all the three loops on your hook. Yarn over, end of the yarn, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Yarn over and through all the three loops on the hook. This is a very beginner friendly shoe to make because you learn all the different stitches in one work. So there it is. Just enter the hook through all this yarn. So here we are, we have 12 rows now in half double crochet. And what we're going to do now is, at the end of the 12th row, we cut our yarn. And we're going to connect the yarn now to the first stitch of the last row of the cuff. So here we have the first stitch of the last row of the cuff and we will make something like a slip knot. We insert our hook, get the yarn, make the slip knot. Now we will crochet all the way along across and all the way along our work in single crochet until we reach the end of the row. Just every stitch in single crochet all the way across and along. Actually, you don't need to count here, but you should make sure not to add more stitches or not to overlook a stitch. At the beginning, you should have seven stitches, and all the way along our 12 rows, you should have 12 stitches. So all the way along and across in single crochet and we see us at the end of the row. At the end of the row, we will chain two. And now we will work the next row in front post half double crochet. We have a first half double crochet with these two chains in the beginning, so we're gonna yarn over, insert the hook into the next stitch, 
insert the hook from the back into the second stitch, yarn over, so we yarn over and pull to the first loop on the hook. We have three loops left on the hook and pull to all the three loop loops on the hook. So we will do this again. Yarn over, insert the hook into the next stitch. Here it is. We insert the hook, insert the hook into the next stitch. So we have this middle yarn. Now we yarn over, pull through, have three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all the three loops on the hook. If you want to know more about how to make front post half double crochet or front post double crochet, feel free to check out the tutorials in my playlist how to crochet 15. So we will yarn over, insert the hook, insert the hook into the next stitch. So we have this little belly yarn on the hook. Get the yarn, pull it through the loop. Have three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull the yarn through all the three loops on the hook. We will repeat this until the end of the row. So we yarn over, insert the hook into the next stitch, all the way through the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through the loop, to the first loop on the hook. We have three loops on the hook. We yarn over and pull through all the three loops on the hook. And again, into the next stitch. To the stitch beside, yarn over, pull through this loop, yarn over, we have three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all the three loops on the hook. And this is how we will do this until we reach the end of the row. And then I will show you what to do next.
in here the edge and our first row of the front post half double crochet we will decrease two stitches like this yarn over insert the hook yarn over pull through insert the hook yarn over pull through we have four loops on the hook yarn over and pull through all the four loops on the hook so here we have now the decrease of two and now we crochet along in front post half double crochet until we reach the other side and the next edge and there we will put two decreases two into the work So here we are on the other side from the other edge of the work and we put in our decreases here, insert our hook, yarn over and pull through all the four loops on the hook. 
continuing crocheting in front post half double crochet till the end of the row So here we finished this row in front post half double crochet and what we're doing now is we're going to crochet and exchange half double crochet and front post half double crochet. We chain two, turn our work and working our way back in half double crochets to the end of the row. So we will repeat these two rows until we've reached the seventh row and then we will see us again. Half double crochets and half front post half double crochets. We finished our work, we cut the yarn off and we will sew our cute little baby shoe now together. So if you prefer to sew your work with a tapestry needle or a wool needle, feel free to do so. But I prefer to crochet my work together and I'll show you how to do this. Just take the yarn, insert your hook into the work, turn your work so that you will sew your work from the left side, the left side that will be inside of the shoe. And now insert the hook to the front side, to the back side and work single crochet, insert the hook to the first side, to the second side, yarn over and single crochet. Now put one single crochet after the other until we reach the end of our work. Take care that you don't add any more stitches and that you don't miss any stitches. So we will start sewing on our cuff until the end of our sewing and that's it. So cut the yarn and we have finished a cute little baby shoe for babies from three to six months. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If so, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, you should subscribe to this channel so you won't miss one of my videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.